Good morning, boys and girls. It is great to see you again this morning. I hope you have all had a great Thanksgiving and you're looking forward to what is coming next. And that's the Christmas season. And we begin that this Sunday today with Advent, the first week of Advent, uh, November 28th, 2021. It is a wonderful time within the church. We begin with the purple candle, the prophecy candle, or some may call it the hope candle. The prophecy candle is the candle of hope. It symbolizes the forgiveness towards man, the forgiveness that God gives us. What did God do for us to show his forgiveness? Does anybody know? Anybody tell me it was his son that he sent for us? Now let's go back over 600 years before the birth of Jesus. God spoke a promise through the prophet Isaiah. The Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. 600 years later, only a handful of people were ready to receive him. Most were looking for a king, for a conqueror, somebody to come in on a horse with swords to conquer those who were holding the Jewish people down. They weren't looking for a savior. The prophet Isaiah goes on to write, he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Boys and girls, do you realize that I said the words, these words were spoken 600 years before the birth of Christ now, why, how was that? How was that that happened? Well, Isaiah was a prophet. Remember, we talked about prophets. Prophets of God brought messages to the people, to the kings, to everybody in the Old Testament from God. That's how God spoke to the people. God had given him the message of Christ, but the people weren't hearing it. Again, they thought the Savior was going to, well, Savior is the wrong word to use there, but this great being was going to come in the form of a king, somebody nice and big, kind of Goliath style, and come in there and just defeat everybody and take things back the way they should be. Well, it wasn't. (laughs) He came in the form of a baby, a little teeny. Just think about that, that precious little tiny baby. Now, that baby that that Isaiah told the people about was born in a manger, grew up to die a cruel death on the cross. And through his sacrifice as the Lamb of God, we are saved. But that is just the first part of the story. The next prophecy he fulfills will be this. They will make war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will overcome them because he is the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, and with him will be the chosen ones, his chosen, the called and his faithful followers. Do you know who they are? Do you know who the chosen are? Do you know who the faithful followers are? Boys and girls, that is you and me, all of us who have accepted Christ. Now you have to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior to be a follower of Christ. Everyone who knows that Jesus was born for you, died for you, and rose rose again to live for you, Those are the ones who are the chosen ones. Those are the ones he's going to come back for. Those are the ones that this prophecy is going to fulfill. This will be fulfilled in his second coming. The first coming was him being born as that little baby. The second coming is when he's going to come back and take his followers home with him. Not as a baby as in the first time, but as the God that he is avenging all wrongs. Now, we today we're going to sing a song in church. We sang a song in church, a verse of the joy, joy to the world. And in it, let's, let's hear the words in the first verse. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. Is your heart prepared to receive the king? Now, this coming month, Let's try thinking about more of what we can do for Jesus, what we can do for others for Jesus, rather than what we want or what we need. 
think we need done for us. That's what Jesus is about. That is, uh, he, he never thought of himself. He always thought of others. And that is exactly how he wants us to think. Now let's see if we can prepare our heart for the king. Prepare. Preparation. That is what Advent is about. Preparing for the birth of Christ. Preparing for his second coming. Now we're going to celebrate the birthday. The first coming of Jesus. We don't know when the second coming is coming. Nobody knows when that's going to happen. But we need to be prepared at all times. Boys and girls, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you thanking you for this season that you've brought upon us. The season where we can celebrate the birth of that little tiny baby. That we can celebrate this child who comes in the form that he does so healthy. And grows to be a man who is treated so very cruelly. Lord, we thank you for giving us that sacrifice, for the forgiveness that comes along with it. Lord, for that prophecy that Isaiah had 600 years before the coming of Christ, that he told the people, he warned the people, Lord, we have been told, we have been warned, there is a second coming, and we need to be prepared. Lord, I am thankful for that. In Jesus' wonderful name we do pray. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you have a really great week and know that I miss you and I love you. Bye.